Hey, welcome into Cross My Heart Ministry. I'm Lauren McFarland. Well, it's the end of September. That means it's time to release for October our Write the Word bookmark. And some of you are familiar with this tool for being in the Word of God. It's an, it's an easy way to engage. And for women who have full lives or who are very busy or who maybe are involved in another Bible study but are looking for a way to engage with a, a small group of women, this is a, a great resource. We've been doing this for several years. And we, the way it works is this. We choose a different word each month. And so for the month of October, that word is worship. It's worship. And so you just, each day there's one verse. And so all of us can make time to read one verse and write one verse. And then take just a couple of minutes to think about that verse. Ponder it, pray over it. And maybe as you write it out, drill down on just one word or even one phrase within that verse. And perhaps in your journal, your notebook, you'll write some thoughts about it or even use that verse and, and write out a prayer to God. And then if you are meeting with a group of friends at the end of the month or, or once a week or every other week, then it's a really sweet time to come together and just ask one another, which verse this week or, or this month really touched your heart or spoke to you? And as you reflect on one another's verses, you will spur one another on. So I hope that's what's happening in your life. We have a few groups forming here as I cast the vision for a triple chord group inspired by Ecclesiastes 4.12. A chord of three strands is not easily broken. And we either already have a video out about triple chord or there'll be one coming soon. But I hope that this might be a resource that you can utilize in your life personally or with a group of people. But the word worship is such a powerful word because I think it speaks into the reason for our existence. If you've ever got into a conversation with a friend, you know, what's the purpose of life? Why are we here? I feel like I get up early and I, I hit the ground running and I, I rush to work and I, I rush through projects and I, I rush home and I try to fit all these responsibilities into the evening. If I've got kids, I got to oversee their homework. I've got laundry to do and meals to prepare and bills to pay. And I fall into bed exhausted with my list not completely checked off. And then I get the next day and do it all over again. And even if you don't work outside the home, your life can be full of so many things. Wash, rinse, repeat, and, and over and over. And it, it's easy to become a little disillusioned. And sometimes we just want to take a time out and reflect and wonder and ponder and ask one another, why am I here? Why am I doing this? What's the purpose of life? And as women of faith, as women who love God, I hope that you have a ready answer. And I hope that answer is, you are, I know why you're here. You are here to bring glory to God. God tells us in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 7, that we are created for his glory, for his glory, to make much of him. And one of the ways that we do that, you guessed it, it's worship. Worship is a powerful way that we, that we give glory to God. And so our verses this month come from the Old Testament all the way down to the New Testament. And one of those, the psalm says, come, let us bow down in worship. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our God, our maker. And so it's interesting to think about some elements of those words, bow down in worship. We often, when we read the word and write the word, and you're going to see it in the verses we study this month, if you were writing with us, that often those two are, are found together, bow down in worship. In fact, I did my own little research. I went to BibleGateway.com and just kind of searched on that phrase. And I got 29 hits, 29 times when we see worship. It's preceded by the phrase bow down, bow down in worship. And as you sort of think that through and ponder what that means, whether we physically bow down, and, and obviously we want to acknowledge that some of us are not physically capable of doing that for all sorts of reasons, age or health or otherwise, or Maybe we're worshiping in the car and it's impossible to bow down. But all of us can have that posture of bowing down in our hearts as we worship, whether that's singing praises to God in church, in the car as we cook, or whether it's worshiping God as we write out his word and as we study his word. Bowing down is an act of humility. Bowing down physically shows a heart. The, the bigger thing behind it is a heart that is reverent before God. It's an acknowledgement of who he is and who we are not. 
And so as you think about that, why would bow down always precede worship? Well, I think the answer is only a humble heart can fully and adequately and completely worship God. Because in order to do that, you have to see yourself as a servant and God is your, is your king. We see ourselves, Paul describes himself as a slave and he is our master. We are the created and he is our creator. We are the redeemed and he is our redeemer. I hope and pray that the words on worship this month, all these verses, stir up your heart to wonder and to think and to ask and to lean into worshiping God and ask him how you could do that in a, in a more intentional way. I hope that as you worship God through his word, it brings on a, a sobering sense of self-awareness uh, of who you are and an overwhelming God awareness about who he is. So come write the word with us this month. Give it a try this one month. There's a link below where you can download your own copy of this. And what happens when you print it, 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 it prints out on the eight and a half by 11 sheet. And there are two copies there. So invite a friend to write the word along with you. Maybe the two of you can get together for lunch at the end of the month and just ask one another, which verse touched your heart? Which one spurred you to worship? Which one made you think and wonder and learn new things about God and also new things about yourself? So whether this is your first month to write the word or you've been doing this with us for several months or even years, we just say welcome. And it would bless us to know that this is a great resource to, to help you and to spur you on and to follow our Lord Jesus Christ in worship. Because my friend, that's why we're here. We were created to bring glory to God, to follow him in worship. For Cross My Heart Ministry, I'm Laurie McFarlane, encouraging you to love God and to love his word. 